Welcome to the channel and welcome to this 2000 point battle report between the Imperial Fists and the unstoppable Green Tide. Today on the channel, my orcs, known as Howling Mad Murphy's War, will be rampaging out of the wilds here, down towards this Imperial Bastion, to take on the Imperial Fists. We are playing a mission from the Open War deck called Standoff. That's the deployment. System interference is in effect, so the range of all aura abilities is reduced to two inches. The way Standoff works is there's three objectives on the battle grid. Uh, one in each of deployment zone and one in the center. The one in the center is worth two points at the end of the battle round. Uh, the one in your deployment zone is worth one to you, but three to your opponents. The idea is he who scores the most objectives wins. So you score at the end of the battle round, not at the end of your turn. So it's one of those missions where actually going second can be of benefit. And looking across the battle grid, we have some significant line of sight blocking terrain. The orcs will be funneled through to this Imperial Bastion here. And all the terrain is scratch built. The mat is from urbanmats.com. That's from Games Workshop. Oh, this stuff here, all the tank traps and all the barricades are from March of War. So the Imperials will be manning this bastion down here, but they will not win it just by staying here. They're going to have to push out and bring the fight to Howling Mad Murphy's War. Commanding the Imperial Fist today will be uh, Captain Torgaradon. Torgaradon? And commanding the Imperial Fist is Quipster. Say hi, Quipster. Hi, Quipster. Welcome back. It's lovely to be back. We can, we can film again. Indeed, we can. I brought my jaunty pink mask as well. I love I've it. I've had a haircut. I'm more looking forward to the day when you can take the mask off finally. Oh, that would be fantastic. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's hot in this room with these lights. It is, isn't it? The Imperial Fist, is that your lockdown army? Yeah, it is basically a lockdown army because yellow takes a really long time to paint and I've not seen anyone in a year. <laughs> <laughs> but you've been, um, you, it's all over, you're on Instagram. Yes. And um, so there's loads of pictures on there about your progress and things. Yes, if you go to at Quips the Nerd on Instagram, you'll see... All of the things I've been painting so much yellow recently, it's turned out pretty well. Have you gone sick of yellow? Or you're still painting Imperial Fists. I'm still painting Imperial Fists. Yeah. Um, I have some very secret projects. Nice. In the works. I like secret projects. Can you tell me? Uh, I think we talked about this the other day on uh, the Fireside Chat on DZTV, which yes. you should go watch. Fireside Chat on DeploymentZone.tv, the podcast thing, and Play On are on there, and a few others are on Indeed. there. And, yeah. We did talk about the secret. So it's not so secret. It's kind of secret. So basically, <laughs> at some point, I'm going to be painting up some Lumineth Realm Lords. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that's happening. Yeah. And my next thing after that yeah. is going to be Night Lords. Night Lords. You With do, the lightning and everything. You do like to challenge yourself, don't you? Oh, yeah. Okay. So talking about a challenge, Orcs these days are not in the Ascendancy. And you have brought a big yellow Space Marine army down to face me. I have. So I've brought an unstoppable green tide. Let's go and have a look at these armies. This is 1996 points worth of orcs, beautifully painted to level three, painting standard by Den of Imagination Painting Studio. Thank you so much for putting this together. Guys, I honestly highly recommend Den of Imagination. They are good people. If you're looking to get your studio army, not your studio army, mm -hmm. any army painted. Um, so that's what's happening here. Um, Murphy's War. And Murphy isn't with us today, unfortunately. Instead, leading the wire will be my war boss, Gregor Chugger. And I've spent a CP on him already. I've given him the might is right warlord trait, and I've spent a CP on giving him the biggest boss. That means he gets an extra two attacks, an extra wound, a four up and vulnerable save. He's got six attacks. Six attacks. And with the killer claw relic, he's going to be an absolute beat stink. Beat stink? Mm. Beat stick. It's very orky. Beat stick. <laughs> <laughs> if he manages to get in combat, but that's the thing with orcs: can they get in combat? Trying to help him get in combat is weird, boy. Will and because there is a huge amount of green energy suffusing him today, I've spent the CP on turning him into a warp head, which means instead of doing one psychic power, he can do two psychic powers. He's got warp path and a jump. They are my commanders. 
Then I've got many troops, two units of shooter boys with a big chopper in each. There are 11 here each in these shooter boy squads because the idea is they can jump in the trucks. And if I want to put a HQ in the truck as well, I can because trucks have a transport capacity of 12. I know that they don't look like they can carry 12 and that's because they can't. Orcs will just hang on the side or get dragged along behind. However, they need to get there. There is no seat belts on these machines. They'll ride on the roof if they need to. So two units of 11, then a big unit of slugger chopper boys. It's got one, two, three. it's got many boys in, and then a many and many a boys squad of slugger chopper boys. And there's a claw in each of these squads because they're going to go punching stuff. Keeping them in line are my nobles. Um, a, a unit of mega knobs, a unit of knob knobs. Um, <laughs> they're a unit of 10 so they can ride in the truck as well if I want to and then I thought all oh, winters I haven't got any shooting at all this army is going to get shot off the table so I brought two units of two tractor guns when you put these down on the table they have to be within six inches of each other and then they count as separate units anyway but by bringing two units of two it means I could put say two on one flank two on the other flank and they auto hit those tractor guns and then I bought a unit of 14 looters because of points. And then I bought lunch, the grots in the backfield. Um, so they're my shooty stuff. I've got to say as well, while we're here, this, this one here, this one in particular, you've yeah. got a very pretty knob. Thank you. This. I love my knob. He's Who a, doesn't he's a love your knob? Exactly. Um, these are Death Skulls, Lucky Blue Gits. So that means all the infantry scores, including the elites, the knobs, and I've got a six up and vulnerable save because I'm lucky and I can re-roll a hit, a wound, a damage, one hit, one wound, one damage from a unit every time it's called upon to shoot or fight. It represents how lucky they are. They're lucky because Howling Man Murphy is not here today. Otherwise, he would eat all of them. He is that mad. Let's go and have a look at the yellow boys, the Imperial, what are they called? Fists. Templars, fists. That's the one. 1997 points worth of Imperial Fists. It's a single battalion, so that's 12 command points to play with. Imperial Fists, sixes explode with bolt weaponry. Yes. So you rolled a six to hit, and that counts as two hits, which is bad news for orcs. And they also ignore cover. They do also ignore light cover. Yeah. Um, so, quick point about this list. Some of you may, may be looking at this and just going, oh, wow, that's... That's a really interesting list. Yeah. Those, those are some things that I'm surprised to see. Yeah. Yeah, it's because it's basically all I had on my spare pile. <laughs> this is just the things I happen to have lying around. There's no synergy in this list whatsoever. It's just things I've thrown down. Okay. Uh, well, you are Space Marines and the Orcs desperately need a codex. So I'm yes. glad that you've done it that way rather than a tune to hell list. Essentially, okay. yeah. This is just cool stuff I had lying around. Cool. So, yeah, for the HQs first, we've got good old Tor Garadon. Uh, he is the captain of the third company, and as you can see here, this is all fifth company. So we'll say he's on secondment. Okay. He was originally fifth company anyway, yep. so it's fine, it works. It's fine. Uh, he has a grav gun, and for some reason, hilariously, a giant fist, which is times three strength. Times three. Times three. Nice. I love it. Nice. Um, next to him, I've got the lieutenant yep. and the chaplain, who has, I want to say, the one that gives you plus one to is recitation of focus. Okay. And the reason I can tell you that is because I've got this handy... Spreadsheet of things. It's that got stratagems on the It's got all the strats and the move and the phases that are in. Your turn and my turn. That's really organized and stuff. I know, right? It's really good. Yeah. It's because I don't know what any of this stuff does. <laughs> uh, next to them. You said you gave him a relic as well. Oh, you? yes. I gave him the BT stick relic, yeah. uh, which I think is plus two to strength. Yeah, it's a flat three damage crozius, basically. Yes. It's good. It's very good. It should be good. Mm. Uh, next to them, I've got the, I want to say, that's the one, uh, and they've got auto cannons that fire, I think, three shots. Yeah, it used to be two, three now. That's the one. They're good. One thing you'll notice about me going through this list is I don't know what any of it does. <laughs> uh, well, you've played it a couple of times, um, but actually, we've all been in lockdown for a very long. You played it against me once. We've all been in lockdown for a very, very long time. This is true. This so, is true. So behind it, the uh, the suppressors, I've got the assault intercessors. Love it. Uh, they are cool because they chop things and yes. they have lots of attacks. It's a plasma pistol in that squad too. Okay. Um, incidentally, the plasma pistol has um, on the plasma coils glow in the dark paint. 
Do you put glow in the dark paint? I've got glow in the dark on, paint on, on the plasma. Yeah. I love it. Absolutely. I'll show you in a bit. Uh, and next to them, I've got the infiltrators here. Yeah. The thing with the infiltrators is I believe they can deep strike, although I'm not sure if I'll do that. Uh, and also, they, with their bolt weapons on a six, they automatically wound. Yes. I think that's the thing. And they've got the 12-inch screen, which means you can't deep strike within 12 of them. So they're very good for zoning out areas. That's and really in good this to know. particular mission where I've got to get up in your deployment zone, mm. you could combat squad this squad into two units of five and zone out a large amount of the field if you wanted to. Huh. That's what people are using for. That's really good to know. I didn't know that. Intercessors with bolt and rifles? Then, yes, intercessors with bolt rifles. Eradicators. And some eradicators. Don't leave things. without them. Of course. Do we have an assassin here? And I have an assassin. This and is Vinny or V1 November dash I. Vinny, the Vindicar. Vinny, the Vindicar. And I would like to point out that I thought of that before anyone else in the community did, because I know someone's going to be like, oh, actually, you, t you took that from another, another well-known channel. No, I painted him before them. Okay. But no yes. one will believe you. No, not one person. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, Vinny, the Vindicar. And then, at the back, I have the Repulsor Executioner. I've nice. used... Oh, I love this guy, honestly. Apparently, it's not like a meta choice anymore, but no. oh my god, it's the most Imperial Fist choice. It was a meta choice when you could have a chunk of them re-rolling hit rolls of one, but That's... now they don't have the core keyword. Oh. However, it's still an absolute tank. Yeah. I mean, look at it. And it's got transport capacity. Really? I think so. Of six, I think. It's got baby transport capacity. I didn't know that. That's really, cool. <laughs> That's really good to know. <laughs> the uh, gladiator, on the other hand, doesn't. Indeed. This isn't a gladiator, is it? This is... Yeah, it's a gladiator lancer. This is the gladiator lancer. Indeed. It's got the, the mini version of the uh, repulsive executioner gun on top and right. some storm bolters. Yeah. Uh, and a heavy stubber and are a they, guy at the top. Are those storm bolters on the side or heavy bolters on the side? So, uh, I want to say they're storm bolters. They look like storm bolters. And this me. is magnetized. So I'm going is quickly. It? There we go. That's okay. Much uh, yeah, so we've got that. And then in the middle, We've got the big boy, the Hammer 4 Bunker, yep. which I have yet to see on any other battle report. Okay. Um, and the reason for that is because it's crap. Well, you see, you, it's toughness 8, it and the toughness tanks eight. are toughness 8. So you've got That's a lot true. of toughness 8 armor, and it isn't great, but it you're is. fighting orcs. So mm. the, it can chuck out firepower and firepower every turn. It hits everything it can see. Within yeah. range. Within range. Yeah. All the time. Um, it can't hold objectives, though. It can't hold objectives. And uh, annoyingly, the hitting everything it can see thing mm. basically just means that uh, the heavy bolters, yeah. instead of going, I'm going to target three shots at that unit, you can be like, I'm going to have one shot on this unit, another shot on that unit, and another shot on that unit, because I can see them all, which is rubbish. Um, I don't think it works like that. I think you okay. get three shots on one unit, three shots on another unit, three shots on another unit, three shots on another unit. If you see 10 units, you can have three shots on 10 units. If it works like that, that's amazing. It, it does work like that. I'm sure it works. We'll, we'll, we'll check this. I want it to work it's like that. It's been a while. Now, <laughs> the most important thing for me when I look at the Hammer Fall Bunker, particularly in this sea of yellow, is it looks really cool. It does. Uh, and it's very Imperial Fist. Very Imperial Fist. So you actually have got quite a considerable amount of firepower here when you rack it all together. There is an amount of anti-tank, and I've got the trucks and the mech guns to deal with. Um, so this is going to be an interesting fight. An unstoppable green tide meets an immovable yellow wall. The other thing I would like to add at the end of that is these these three yes. are part of a formation that I'm building. Okay. Imperial Fists. Okay. It's going to be called the Fist of Dawn. Nice. And the reason for that is because it's going to have two repulsor executioners. Yes. And there's going to be the thumb and the, the index finger. Okay. Then it's going to have a, a repulsor. That's going to be yeah. the middle finger. Yeah. Then there's going to be two gladiators. Yeah. With the other two fingers. And the palm is going to be the Hammerfall Bunker. Okay. So it's the Fist of Dawn detachment. Edit. The Assassin costs the CP. Equips it starts with 11. Here we are after deployment for this 2,000 point game of standoff. The Imperial Fist man the barricades. We've moved a little bit of the train around because it's, it's cool. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> to put that Hammerfall bunker behind that piece of terrain over there next to the chaplain. Tor Garden front and centre obviously. Um, have you combat squatted at any squad, sir? Yes, I have. I have combat squatted the infiltrators. There is section uh, two over here. That's next to your objective. I like it. Indeed. 
and section one over here. Right. And they are using their ability to screen out basically okay. all of this. I like the fact that because the red helmet is the sergeant. It is. And the white helmet is a veteran. Yep, and he and needs the second team. He takes command of the second team, and all of your forces are done like that. Red helmet on the sergeant, white helmet on... I love it. Nothing yeah, inside the repulsor executioner. You can fit the eradicators in there. Transport capacity is six. They count as two if you wanted to. No? Mm, not yet. Or maybe they jump in and... They, I don't know. Because the gun on this has got a ridiculously long range. Yeah, it is the lift. And lift I've put my looters up here. It turns out that there was a perfect spot for my looters with all my grot shields... The shooter boys are here. The nobles are there. Mega knobs. There's Grugger Chugger, ready to lead Murphy's War in his uh, honour. And I don't know if there's any honour amongst orcs. There is. It's just very, very different to everyone else's. Yeah. Different is good, right? Yeah, sure. And We're all we have the, Yeah. The two tractor cannons up this side shooting that way. So, I mean, these guys are dead. Wherever I put them. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we're ready to go. Um, we need to roll off. Have you got a dice? I do have a dice. Let's see how this goes. In, oh, oh dear. Now, in open war, oh, the okay. winner can choose whether they go first or second. So I'm going to need to have a think. Because going second, reacting to... Mm -hmm, mm, 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 mm. Right. Quipster. Yes. The tactician in me says go second. Because mm -hmm. if I go first, I can zip onto that objective there, mm -hmm. and then you'll shoot, charge, and you'll be on that objective. And at the end of the battle round, you'll get two, one point, you'll be on three points, and I'll only be on one, and you'll already be outnumbering me. That is true. But I so rarely get to go first with Murphy's War. <laughs> and they're orcs. So I have to go first. It's orcs turn one. Here we are after the Orcs movement phase. The nobles in the truck are back here with the mega knobs right now. Don't know what to do with them quite yet, but I did advance these two trucks. One of them got a nice long advance and is sitting on the objectives. There's two squads of shooter boys in there. And then Grugger Chugger, Weird Boy Will and the Swarm in the middle also advanced. Um, deep striking with the jump is a thing because I can deep strike out beyond these barricades but we're counting these as barricades these tank traps you can hide behind them they'll provide light cover but they're also obviously difficult ground and I can't deep strike back there anywhere because infiltrators are doing what they need to do but I do need to catapult a squad forward just to give uh, Tor Garadon something <laughs> to think about so Weird Boy Will is going to cast a jump on there I need a seven, but right now he's got a plus four to this cast. <laughs> and if I get a 12, his brain is going to explode. And that's more than a 12. So his brain will explode and he, he will take D3 mortal wounds for one mortal wounds. But I can to jump this smaller squad. So Weird Boy Will has got three wounds remaining. He's already got a headache. My glamorous assistant Quipster is putting the models down. Hello. They've a popped out over here. Um, that will be an 11 inch charge, but I can re-roll because I'm an orc. Maybe I'll make it through the tank traps. So let's go into the shooting phase. And tractor cannons automatically hit. And there's a sniper oh, up in the no. tower here. Oh, Jesus. So it'd be rude not to shoot him. Oh, and I hit. God. And it wounds on a strength 8. I wound on a 2. It doesn't <laughs> wound. The other one can see it. That one wounds. Minus okay. two, D6 damage. You have okay. a four up and vulnerable save? Do you have a four up and vulnerable save? Or a three. What's your normal armor save? Because oh, you've got it's plus one. It's like a five up. Okay, so it's just nice. a four up either way. He's good. good. You make it. Right, these other two over there can draw a line of sight and can see this. I don't want Gregor to snapped in the head. I do. So I'm going to do the same again. Oh. Wounds on a two. Wounds. Oh, right, another four up and vulnerable, please. Come on, boys. Or rather He's good. Wounds. Okay, the last one. Wounds. Don't roll a four up and one. Come on. Four up and one. No. Come on, boy. Or are you oh. going to save it for other points in the shooting okay. phase? How, what's the damage on it's that? It's D6. D oh, yeah. I'm going to CP that. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. okay well, just, just, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Four up. He's good. Okay, so the tractor cannons fire up to the top of the tower and try and crush the Vindicare, but he dances left. He dances mm. right. So, I think we're going to go on to the looters. I'm going to spend two CP or more DACA. So my DACA, DACA, DACA explodes. And let's shoot down at this pile here. And they have D3 shots. 
So That's, three that's... times 14. 42 shots coming in hot at this squad here. Quips has spent two CP on transhuman physiology. This is 40 dice. I'm hitting on fives. I get to reroll one of these because of death skulls. Right, 14 fives and sixes. So daka 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 daka. More fives and sixes required. Strength seven, but it's forced to wound because of transhuman physiology, and I get to reroll one of these because I'm lucky. That's 11 saves at minus one, but plus one because of the barricade, so 11 three up saves. Come on, boys. And each failed save does two damage That's and will not kill. Good. Did you just roll five ones? I just rolled five ones. And you've already spent a CP. And the rest are fives and sixes. Okay, so five of them. Five of them four. Section two is down. It looks like this. Then the shooter boys in the truck that advance will fire out at them as well. Two shots each. But I need sixes to hit because that truck advanced. And there's five sixes there. Which gets me five more daka daka dakas. And there's six sixes in total. Oh yeah, reroll one because I'm lucky. No, so... Uh, forced to wound, reroll on them because I'm lucky, and those are two up saves because of the barricade. And one gets injured. Then I have the yeah. big shooter on the truck, sixes, no sixes. Big shooter on that truck, sixes, no sixes. But the boys in the truck can't see them because I handbrake turned that truck in front. <laughs> this truck can see all the way down, trying to plink off one more wound. Fives because I didn't advance. And three is it's a big shooter. I can reroll one because I'm lucky. Oh, I can reroll a hit because I'm lucky. Uh, one, we oh no, it's a force to wound, isn't it? Because it's transhuman. Yeah. Now, interestingly enough, looking around the battle grid, that's all my shot. Oh, these guys. These guys can shoot. Mm -hmm. So the only thing they could really shoot at was the vehicles. And at toughness eight, I was wounding on sixes and no damage with my small arms firepower. So that is the end of the shooting phase. So now. These boys are going to attempt 11 inch charge. Would you like to overwatch or? Well, it's not overwatch that I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about the grab pulse, but I'm not sure grab if that's. Grab pulse? Yeah, which is a minus two to your charge. It would be a minus two to my charge. Indeed. I've got to see if that's only a repulsor thing or if that's a, like any grab vehicle thing. It's called repulsor field. This vehicle has the repulsor field keyword. So by spending a CP. <laughs> One. That is a minus four to my charge, minus two for that, minus two for the terrain. I fail the charge. And that is the end of the orcs. Turn one. You have a morale test to take Ooh. on these five puppies here. Oh, no. If you could roll a five or six, that'd be lovely. Hang on. Maybe even can... a four will do it, because you lost five. I think they can use Torque Aridon's leadership. We need to find out, because yep. that's nine. Let's find that out. No, that's a nine. Their leadership eight. One more flees, and then there's four remaining, and they'll flee on ones. <gasps> two oh, more no. flees. The dice are betraying you, leaving only two Imperial Fists with brother Captain Torgaron manning the front lines. That is the end of Orcs turn one. However, we don't score until the end of the battle round. That is a truck. If you get them on that objective there, mm -hmm. you will get your points, but obviously they will be selling themselves dearly to keep this orc green horde tide thingy bob back. Undaunted by the green tide raging down towards them, Torgaradon steps forward with the two remaining assault intercessors. The eradicators come around here to take aim on that truck as well, but everyone else pretty much standing firm. Um, if this truck blows, then I can get my 11 shooter boys out there and hopefully outnumber you on that objective. And I must say, I'm quite surprised that you've put your captain front and centre. I mean, have you seen this tide coming down towards you? I have, and you know what? It depends how many of them are left after this. Uh, there might not be many left, to be fair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the other thing as well is I wasn't expecting to lose that many assault intercessors. Neither was I. And there's only two of them left, which means they can't screen him, because he actually has three in the unit yeah. to screen him. So it was either jump backwards, which I think is a bit of a waste, or run forwards with the giant fist. The giant fist of doom. And then punch a truck into oblivion. Okay, so on my signal, unleash hell. So we're opening up the shooting phase with the Vindicare Assassin. Aiming down here, you decided to go for my warpet. Indeed, I'm going to see if I can knock him flat on his back. I was going to say a rude word, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I would as well. He's my deep strike potential, as you've seen. Okay. Otherwise, the mega knobs and the knobs are stuck back here. So, two's to hit with him. 
Exactly. And he's hit. And he always oh. wounds infantry on a two. That's and a two. That's a wound. Um, that's D3. It ignores invulnerable saves, doesn't it? It ignores invulnerable saves. Minus three AP. Yeah. So go yeah. straight through. Just go straight through. D3. That's a big three. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He is dead. So Weird Boy Will's head gets taken off. Don't worry, the orcs have the power to rebuild him. There wasn't much brains <laughs> in there anyway. Spending a CP called Priority Threat Neutralized, it costs zero CP. It does. And you gain a CP. I have. For killing a character. And then you're immediately spending that CP on double shot because he's slain a character, he's firing again, firing at uh, Grugga Chugga. He'll hit on a two. Let's do this. He hits. He wounds hit. on a two. Ugh! He doesn't win. Can I? Wait, do I have I used a CP? Not in the shooting phase yet. I'm going to have to. Okay. I'm going to have to. Are you changing the dice? I'm changing dice. I love it. Oh my God. <laughs> Perfect shot on my weird boy. However, the second shot goes wide. And now, now the Imperial Fist will unleash what? I was going to say, you know what's going to happen now? What? Tor Garadon is at the back and he's, you know that bit in, uh, in uh, the Avengers where Thanos is just like, fine, puts on the gauntlet. I'll do it myself. That's what's happening right now, with awesome. this giant fist. Awesome. But first, the Eradicators are going to try and blow up this truck. Six shots, they didn't advance, hitting on threes. And only three hit, but that's all you need against mm -hmm. a truck, really. Threes to wound. And that's a lot wound. of wounds. I have a six up and vulnerable save. Am I lucky? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, 3d6 damage on my truck. That, that, and might that will kill the truck. However, Ramshackle rule is in effect. On a oh. six, that becomes a one. No. On a six, the three becomes a one. No. And if I roll a six here, you don't kill the truck. Oh. You do kill the truck. I saw that. Because you'd have blown off bits that I don't need. So <laughs> clearly you hit the fuel pipe and the truck doesn't explode. Brown sludge leaks out whatever they use as fuel. And on ones, three ones there, three orcs get taken out as they clamber out the wreckage. It looks like this after the boys clamber out, then the suppressors over there are firing over their heads down into the big swarm of boys here. Yes. So nine shots, threes to hit. And threes to wound. At AP minus two, because the Devastated Doctrine is in effect. Yes. But am I lucky? One of them is four <laughs> orcs get taken out. Now the intercessors are gonna unload on the same target. 20 shots for the bolt of discipline. Threes to hit. Sixes explode. Oh yeah. <laughs> because of the exploding dice, everything hit. So force to wound. But you're re-rolling ones because the lieutenant is stood next to them shouting, shoot better, shoot better. It's minus one, burn straight through the armor. But I do have a six up invulnerable save. Oh. You kill 13 of them. That's a lot. So the horde in the middle of the table are getting thinned out. Mm. Alarmingly so. We're moving on to the gladiator? Yes, the Lancer. Right. Okay, so we're going to fire the big boy gun on the Lancer yeah. at this truck. Okay. <laughs> right, let's see what happens. Where, where are the other guns going? Uh, the storm bolts are going to go into these boys. Okay, nice. Okay, oh, so... Oh, and the stubber as well. So right. let's do this. Big boy guns. One hit. It's one hit. Strength 10. <laughs> it wounds. Six up and burn. I don't make no. that. It's D3 plus 3 damage, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah. So that's um, five. 5 damage. On a 6 it becomes a 1. So that's 5 damage. The truck has got 5 wounds left. And then we're going to mm. unload into these boys here with 2 Storm Bolters. 2 Twin Storm Bolters? Not Twin, but I am in Rapid Fire range. So that is 8 shots coming in. 3's to hit. Oh, and Bolt Weapons. Oh. Yeah, so 6's explode. So everything hits. Force to wound. Uh, four wounds? Perfectly yep. statistically average there. <laughs> um, sixes? There was a stubber on the tank, it took out one more. Then we came across to the heavy intercessors in the middle. Heavy intercessors? Assault intercessors. Assault intercessors. Heavy bolt pistol, well, that's where I got the heavy from. <laughs> Killed an orc in the middle. Plasma pistol is overcooking and going into the truck. Please, to hit. oh for God's sake. You can re-roll that. Tor Gadam's there, you're fine. Just don't roll another one. He's okay. fine. Okay, he's Three, good. Three's to wound. Oh my god. Well, at least he didn't die horribly in a plasma <laughs> detonation. So Torgaradon is going to aim his grav gun down into the truck. Uh, just in rapid fire range. Two's to hit. It's strength five, so it needs a fives to wound. No. No. It's AP minus three. Um, so the truck is unkillable as mm. yet. 
So the champlain in the command phase put recitation of focus on those chaps. So you get plus one to hit. And they're firing down at these orcs here. They stood still, so bolt with discipline. Ten shots, hitting on twos. Sixes explode. So you roll three ones, but you can put two more back in again. <laughs> I like that roll. That's good. It's really good for these yeah. guys. Force to wound. Ah, oh, six is automatically wound. Did they? Yeah. So that was two auto wounds. So that was three auto wounds. So three auto wounds, and then so take out those three. Take out those three. Yeah. Uh, and then another, f so seven, seven wounds, adding the three back in there, and I don't save any. Seven more boys get blown up, leaving seven remaining in that squad. We have the lieutenant left to fire, the hammerfall bunker, and everything on the repulsor. Yes, they've thinned away a huge amount of orcs so far, but there's still a pressure, there's still quite a few orcs right in front of you. So, where are we going oh. next? Okay, we're gonna go. The lieutenant. Right. And notice I have said lieutenant this time. I've been swayed. And he's going to fire his bolt thing, his bolt rifle at these guys. It's lieutenant if you're American. But yeah. um, if French. you were in the British military and you said left lieutenant, you'd be put up on charges. Yes, they would punch you. <laughs> they would punch you in the face. He and hits it, oh, both times. Now I get. And that explodes. So three that's hits. three hits. Okay, fours. Just, uh, one. just one wound. Uh, I don't make the save, so he does dead shot one of these out of the way. So we're going on to the Hammerfall Bunker. It can shoot everything that's eligible. Now, to be an eligible target in the shooting phase, you have to have line of sight and range. And the Heavy Bolter can see this, this, <laughs> them, the truck, and that. So yes. that Hammerfall Bunker is picking on six targets. Where are the missiles going? It's two shot tank killer missiles or 2d6 troop killer missiles. It's going to have to be the 2d6 super frag missiles. Right. And they're going on these boys because I need them to die. Yeah, if I make the charge with one guy with a claw and tie up something. Yeah, I'd rather yeah. not. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, so we'll do super frag first. It's 2d6. Okay. Any fours? Oh, that's... Three hits. Okay. And strength six, though, these frag missiles. That is no wounds. Happy? I'm so happy right I, now. You said it wasn't very good. No, it's, not, <laughs> it's a rubbish thing. It the missiles levels. fired wide. It went. They're so close. It flew over and they landed here, just behind where all the boys have died already. Maybe it contributed to the mess of green pulp behind, and the guys dice. are coming out of the smoke like whoa, whoa, whoa! Didn't get <laughs> us all. So now you've got three heavy bolter shots going in yes. on fours. <laughs> This one of them the one. hits, wounds on a three, and it wounds. And I make the oh invulnerable save, God. the boys walk through the fire, and then we're going to do three bolters here and here and here and all over the place. Yeah. Uh, we'll do it off camera because okay. there's a lot to do. <laughs> Turns out the Hammerfield Bunker killed four boys in total, and it actually took a wound off the truck. Um, I made Moran shackle save. <laughs> <laughs> so he took one wound off the truck, despite being a heavy bolter. Sorry, five boys in total. So the last thing left to fire is the repulsor executioner. And because of a horrendous display of positioning... Yeah, it can only see one thing. It, well, it can see this turret <laughs> and those boys. But you said you don't want to shoot the boys, you want to punch them to death. Oh, yeah. So you get up on the objective. Exactly. But apart from those boys, and apart from that, what have the Romans ever done for us? Precisely. You could, I mean, there's shots up here, but they're not in range. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so let's try and kill a turret. <laughs> Two's to hit with a heavy laser destroyer. Okay. Two, Two hits. hits. Strength 10 on top is five. Pretty sure those are wounds. Right, I don't get a save, and each of these is D3. Plus, you can roll the damage if you want. Pretty sure it's dead. Uh, yeah, that's really dead. That <laughs> is five, nine damage. <laughs> they have six wounds. Oh, this just... gets obliterated, and there is a smear <laughs> of green behind it. And that's the end of your shooting phase. I believe so. So now you're going to attempt to charge up yes. the gut with the assault intercessors. I'm not going to overwatch, but you are going through difficult terrain here, so... Let's see what happens. So with the difficult ground, five inches on the assault intercessors. And straight they in. get in and six for Tor Garadon. Oh, straight in. Oh, they're angry. Tor Garadon and the intercessors make the charge. Nine attacks on just those two intercessors, hitting on threes. Rerolling ones because the captain is stood by and they want to impress him. Force to win. This would go straight through my armor. But I have an invulnerable save. You only get three through. 
Oh, you do wow. You kill three of them. So there's three boys left for the captain to deal with. He hits on twos. Threes. Threes. Oh, yes, it is unwieldy. Mm -hmm. And he's strength like bajillion, so he <laughs> wounds on twos. Uh, wounds five times. That's minus <laughs> three. Yeah, so I need to make six up in vulnerable saves. <laughs> no, the boys are smushed into oblivion. And at the end of the fight, it looks like this. The captain of the Imperial Fist stands proud on the central objective, along with the assault intercessors. I have morale tests to take everywhere. A one will pass. Only a one. No. The rest will flee on ones and twos. So one more flees, leaving four left there. But the boss knob with the claw is still stood there. Then we come across to the big swarm in the middle. There's 11 there. I start off with 30. Oh, okay. So my leadership test is minus 19. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a one will pass. <laughs> that's, that's not a one. But because they failed their morale test within range of my war boss, Grugga Chugga, breaking heads. Mm -hmm. He does D3 mortal wounds to the unit, smashes two of them into oblivion, and then they're considered to have passed the morale test. Okay. They're more scared of him than they are of the <laughs> Imperial <laughs> Fists. And that is the end of turn one. The Orcs came charging forward and the Imperial Fists put on what a show. I've got one point for this objective here, but Quipster has three points for controlling his own objective and and the central objective there. This truck is still alive, but the unit, the first unit in the truck got completely wiped out. That unit got reduced. This unit got reduced. I'm already at about 50% capacity with my boys. <laughs> and more importantly, my warp head has gone. So the ability to, to jump and get back here and start challenging those objectives has been, well, it's been completely taken away. Oh no. But uh, Grugga Chugga, mm -hmm. he's cunning as well as beautiful. Br brutal? I was going to say beautiful. He's he cunning. Is beautiful. He is cunning as well as beautiful. So um, he's, got, he's got plans up his sleeve. He's got squigs up his sleeve as we go into Orcs. Turn two. At three points to one, the Orcs need to push. And also their Orcs. So I've advanced forward with Grugga Chugga because with the... Wow, ability, he can advance and charge. This unit came out of this truck and moved forward onto that objective. The idea is, Torgaradon right now is doing the Gandalf, you shall not pass, but I intend to pass him. I intend to go charging through him. And then after the boys got out of that truck, it hit the reverse and got a big old reverse all the way back here onto that objective. And the knobs who were in that truck also got out and advanced and came around this side as well, along with the Megnops, they got a six. So my nobles are beginning to push forward. The intention was, Quipster, mm -hmm. to start to jumping them up in your table half. How'd that work out? It didn't work out at all. <laughs> <laughs> Must bring two weird boys. Um, I had to move the mech gun, but it also hit auto hits, so I can get a snipe on Tor Garadon, because he has got a four up and vulnerable save, and he is a beast. But I'm sure Grugga Chugga can take him out. No, he can't. If I tickle him a little bit first with the tractor gun. Um, and then I've got my looters. So that's what's going on around here. Then I spent three CP on Unstoppable Green Tide. Now, the big unit of 30 that was reduced down to less than 30 <laughs> <laughs> comes swarming on that side of the battle grid. I didn't push them all the way up. Um, this difficult terrain that I set up before we even knew we were doing this scenario <laughs> is proving a real, these t dragon teeth here are proving a real inconvenience for the orcs. Absolutely beautiful for narrative purposes. Really sucks for <laughs> me when I'm trying to charge the lines. So I've pulled them in here and that minimizes the amount of firepower coming back out from your castle. Um, and hopefully in later game turns, in three or four, I can start influencing one of these objectives. I think this one is a bust for me now, now that you've got rid of the jump. It's going to be all about who controls the centre objective. And maybe the Orcs can start pressuring as well, just to have well, a good scrap in later game turns. To be fair, yes. if you fought your way across all of my lines and all of my, all of my tactical intercessors you yes. could make it there I could yeah um, it's a doable it's that, a doable objective well there's loads of beakies there and we want to scrap exactly um, so we're going to try we're certainly going to try 
and it's going to start with a mech gun here picking on Tor, Tor Garadon with a tractor cannon, which hits. It's, it's bullying. Just needs to wound. That's what that is. And I wound him. He needs it's minus two, um, so four up and vulnerable save. Okay, four up and vulnerable save. He's good. You make it. Can you stop doing that? <laughs> <laughs> so these two tractor guns, I could shoot at your sniper who's going to pick on Grugger Chugger. Yeah, probably. But I could shoot at this tank. You could also do that. So let's shoot at the tank. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> because the save will be a five instead of a four. It's minus two, you see. Oh, no. So I hit you with both guns. It's strength eight, your toughness eight. I need fours to wound. One, <laughs> one hit the floor. And a wound once, okay. minus two, so five up save, sir. Come on, boys. Yes! Oh, no. Tractor guns completely ineffectual one more time. Talking about ineffectual, these guys are completely out of range. But they do pull their triggers and aim at the clouds and hit the clouds on. Yeah, they're shooting up, making lots of loud banging noises. These guys fire at toughness eight tanks one more time and don't do any wounds again. So <laughs> what we're going to do is Grugger Chugger's going to fire his rocket at Tor Garadon. Oh, no. He'll hit on a six, and he misses, but it makes a whoosh-banging sound, so he's very happy. The guys that got out of the truck are going to shoot at the intercessors. 20 shots flew in, and I caused two wounds. <laughs> and the other two up save because you're in the cover. Oh, Ooh. no! One of them gets injured. How humiliating. <laughs> oh, so the truck back here will try and take the last wound off on six and miss. It won't. And the mega knobs can't see, and the knobs don't have any guns, so it's just the looters. There's a big swarm of boys there. Let's shoot at them. Oh, no. Do you want to transhuman again? Because I'm going to more dacker again. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. And this time they have two shots each. 14 looters is 28 shots, hitting on fives and sixes. Reroll one of them because I'm lucky. And then that's nine hits, which explode. Looking for more fives and sixes. Mm -hmm. 11 hits. Pause to wound, because the transhuman reroll one of them, because I'm lucky. Not that lucky. Six three up saves. Go on, boys. Each of these is two. Oh, yes. Two damage. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing happens. Imperial Fist manning a bastion, and they take no damage. Someone should write a book about it. And that's the end of the orc shooting phase. What, what have I done? Uh, you did a wound here. Yeah, and? And? That's it. Yeah, basically. Okay, typical <laughs> shooting phase. Lots of clouds died mm, in yes. this phase. <laughs> There's a missile that went past Tor Garadon and whooshed his cape. I'm going to charge with these bad boys. Let's do it. We're going to charge the intercessors and Tor Garadon. Any overwatch, sir? Nah. No. And uh, that's a seven. Actually, the five was really cocked, so let's re-roll that. Yeah, that's still a seven. And the boys end up there. So Grugger Chugger declares a charge against Tor, Tor Garadon eight inches because of the difficult terrain there. And I can re-roll any number of the dice because I'm an orc. So let's re-roll that one. Oh, come on. Then the last charge we need to do is over here into the Gladiator. It's a nine inch charge because you spent a CP on Grab Pulse one yep. more time. And the noise that makes is wom. Wom. And I'm going through cover. So nine inches to hit that tank. And I can re-roll any number of the dice because orc. Mm. A one-third chance or do both of them. Let's do both of them. The power of Gork or possibly Mork will protect me. Or not. Oh, that's close. So the only charge that I make is down here with the boys against Tor Garadon and the boys. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of the attacks into the intercessors. Okay. He's heroically intervened at the end of the charge phase. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, I, I need those intercessors dead because they're troops on that objective. And then Tor Garadon can put... Because, see, I might be able to get some... Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything into the intercessors. Boss knob yeah. is three attacks with a big chopper. He hits on threes. I can reroll that because I'm lucky. And it's strength seven, so I wound on threes. And I can reroll that because I'm lucky. And then minus one, two damage each. So you need to make three, four up saves. Each failed save will kill one of these intercessors. Oh, and then the boys will unleash their fury. Come on, boys. Pause. Oh, no. They dead. get taken out. So I pile in or consolidate. Torgaradon fights back with six attacks. Spending a CP on Gene Raw Might. Sixes to hit will auto wound. 
Okay, and threes. Whoa. Two auto wounds. Okay, and then. And then three normal wound, hits. Wounds on twos. Okay, he That's... wounds five times, which will actually smush orcs unless they're on sixes. Three. Let's dodge, guys. One of them dodges, four of them get piled right into the ground. So it looks like this. Then I need to take a leadership test. Their leadership is currently seven, which I fail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so breaking heads with my war boss. He smashes one of them to oblivion. And mm. as ever, they're more scared of Grugga Chugga than they are. Now I could spend a couple of CP to fight again. It's three CP and the orcs get to fight again, but I've only got five left. And I'm, I'm not going to kill Torgaradon. I'm going to hurt him, but not kill him. And I don't think you can kill all those boys. No. Because you've got six attacks and there's seven boys there. Mind you, if you fall out of combat and shoot them, then you won't hold the objective and I won't hold the objective and it'll still be 3-1. I can live with that. So I'm going to live with that. That's it. At the end of Orcs, turn two, I kill two intercessors. <laughs> <laughs> but we're having a jolly good time doing it as we go on to Space Marines, turn two. Right, so here we are after the Imperial Fist movement phase. There is really no need for these infiltrators to be back here now other than hold that objective. When you discovered that, you thought, oh, there's the other part of the combat squad here. Mm -hmm. So you spent a CP on guerrilla tactics. Yes. Because they're in Phobos armor, they can disappear and be put in strategic reserves, mm -hmm. which means potentially they could come in in next turn or the turn after and start threatening my back line. Exactly. That guerrilla tactic strap, I love it. I need to get me some infiltrators. Um, cool. This bastion we're keep treating as area terrain, which provides light cover to people that are on it, um, like a hill or something like that. We're not using the rules for the bastion because it gets too complicated very quickly. So the tank can get up there. Plus, how cool does that look? <laughs> like floating on top of this bastion, like brakes locked in the mag clamp. It looks really, really cool. Uh, the other tank has chosen not to move. And the second wall, the last wall, has moved forward to become the first wall, and brave Torgadon has bravely run away. Torgaradon has initiated a strategic withdrawal so that his forces can back him up properly. Chickened out. He has initiated a strategic withdrawal. Taking some steps back. Exactly. S scared of the green tide coming towards him. He has used the available resources to him at yes. his best disposal. Okay, so after the boss man of the Beakies backs away from the Orcs, they let up a cheer like, oh, he's backing out, boys, he's, back. he's running, running away. And in return, the Imperial Fists pull the trigger. So where are we starting, sir? So, Vinny, the Vindicar Assassin, yes. has in his crosshairs, not Murphy, this guy, Lugger Chugger. Grugger Chugger. Grugger Chugger, that's the one. Grugger Chugger, Murphy's not with us today. Ah, yes, Murphy has died. Oh no, how no, terrible. No, he's no? no, no, no. Oh no. The rumors of his death. Murphy lives. You know, Vulcan lives. Yeah. He's green, right? So it's Vulcan lives, but like not as cool. Murphy lives. <laughs> There's t shirts and everything. Uh, hitting on a two. There's a hit. Wounds on the two. That's a wound. That's a wound. D3 wounds. I don't get That's a save. The and it does a wound. Then headshot kicks in. Yes. On a three up, it does a mortal wound. And then on a four up, it does a mortal wound. No. no. So, so two, two wounds on him. He started on plus one wound because he's the bestest boss. And I think he's got five. Five. I want to say five. 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 Sure. Five. Five. I can't count that high. Who can? Five wounds left. I gave him the extra wound with the strat at the beginning. So now the intercessors are going to unload everything at these boys in cover here. That's 20 shots. Hitting on threes. Winning on fours. And with sixes exploding and within two inches range of the lieutenant there because of the system interference, 13 wounds came through at minus two. The tactical doctrine is in effect. I need invulnerable saves. I don't make enough invulnerable saves. <laughs> the orcs are wiped out. The boys get vaporized and accelerator auto cannons come through the green mist and thump into Grugga Chugga on trees. Uh, Fours heavy weapon. Fours, oh yeah, you moved. Um, okay. Okay. Fair enough. That was eight hits anyway. <laughs> Threes to wound. These are strength seven guns here. Uh, uh, five? Six. I have a four up and vulnerable save, but each does two damage. 
Oh, just five. Because of um, the bestest boss. So four open buns. Uh, look at that. That is four wounds. He's got one wound left. See, he should have made that charge. And Tor Garadon should be smushed. <laughs> and then he would have been here. And then I would have been happy if he had been a noble sacrifice. Just dying below the walls of the bastion. But he didn't make the charge. And now we're going to have six shots with eradicators coming into my war. This is a bit overkill. You Eradic think so. But, you know, he's the big war boss. You've got to make sure that he's at a green pace on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> threes to hit with the eradicators. And four hits come through. This will be threes to wound because I'm a tough war boss. Very tough. Threes to wound. Three wounds. Yeah. Three four up and vulnerable saves on Grugger Chugger. Hang in there, fella. Um, even if I command pointed it, <laughs> there's a bit of paste, but don't worry, he's an orc. They can get the paste up and put it in a jar and find a way to sew it back together. See, what's just happened there is Tor Garadon is in a fight, has taken a step backwards, and he's chicken looking down. He chicken down. No, he's looking Rugger Chugger, or whatever his name is, directly in the eyes, takes a step back. And everything in the Imperial Fist vaporizes everything yeah. in front of him. Yeah, the orcs come charging in. He held the line and then... Just splat. Nice. Next up, we have the Lieutenant Fire and the Chaplain Fire causing no damage. Then we have the Laser Destroyer from the Gladiator going at the turret. Yep. And the Stormbolt is at the unit right in front. So I'll Which has the... failed the charge twice. <laughs> <laughs> the Pulse is pushing them back. Laser Destroyer. Threes yeah. to hit. One hit, three to one. Two hit because it's got the equivalent optic. Nice. Wounds on twos. Oh, oh no! And I don't get a save, and it's D three plus three damage, and the turret's gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how many boys left there? Four, five, four. Four. Okay, rapid okay. fire death with the storm bolters. Threes to hit. And then sixes explode. Well, Did you not get any sixes? No. Because I thought this squad would be wiped out now because the tactical doctrine is in effect. Mm. So we'll see. Force to wind. Oh no. Two. Okay. Um, you do kill two though. Okay. So the iron hail? Yep. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Two hits. Two wounds. Two wounds. <laughs> <laughs> the boss knob in the claw is stood there going, come on in if you think you're hard enough. Last thing left to fire is the bunker and the repulsor. The bunker is firing here, here, oh, and at him. <laughs> but you're doing the super frag missile two shot version now. Super crack missile. Down at this turret. Okay. Which will hit on fours. And it hits Those both times. Hits. It's strength 10, you'll wound on twos. Those are two wounds. And at AP minus two, I don't get a safe. I've only got a five up safe. 2d6 damage. Oh my god. Snake eyes damage. It was a dud. It just bounces off the surface, doesn't go in. Am I going to CP that? Are you going to CP that? How many wounds does that have? I think five or six. So. I think six. I want to say six. It might be five. Six. You'll need a five if you want to CP on one of those dice. Ah. Uh, uh, I've got, got five left over there with a the cake, I can see. Go big or go home. Yeah. That's what they say. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay, then. A five up, you destroy the turret. Where are you? Oh my god! <laughs> and the dice gods say no. Then the bolter array fired out, killed one in this squad. None of the nobles. Unreal. We're going to get on camera to see if he killed the boss knob here because okay. he's been a brave boy. Let's do it. I hope he dies. Oh, okay. Right, that's three hits because sixes explode. Mm -hmm. Three's to wound. There's a lot of wounds. See, the thing is, this is two damage and he's got two wounds. So... <laughs> yeah. I, he's dead I shouldn't have taunted you <laughs> uh, dead so now we're on to the repulsor executioner um, the gatling is firing up at my looters so I'm spending a CP on grot shields the twin Icarus iron hell stubber is coming down into the knobs and the laser destroyer is going at the turret yes at the turret the other guns are currently out of range um, what do you want to start off with uh, the Gatling Cannon. That's 12 shots, coming in hot. Okay. Threes to hit. Only five out of 12 hits. Threes to wound, though. Um, only four wounds. Mm. Now, on twos, grots get thrown in the way of the shots. Mm -hmm. And four grots die instead. Then eight shots with the Iron Hail on threes. 
Seven hits there. Wounding on fours. Strength four, toughness four. Ooh. Oh, only oh, three no. wounds. Minus one. So they normally have a five up save, four up save actually. So mm -hmm. this becomes a five up save. And oh. One takes a wound. They have two wounds each. They're nobles. We forgot about the Iron Hell Heavy Stubber on top. That's uh, another four shots. You can put that where you want. Where do you want to put it? Uh, we'll go into the Grot Shield and we'll okay. take it down. Okay. Um, that's another three hits and you'll wound on twos because you're firing at Grots. Yeah, two Grots explode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pulling away the Grots that were trailing around towards that objective there. Um, they're dying in front, but the others are coming back up <laughs> to fill the gap. Uh, laser Destroyer into this. Two boy gun. Yep, and twos to wound. No save, minimum four damage. It's yeah. it's it's yeah. evaporated. <laughs> yeah. And that's the end of the shooting phase for the Imperial shifts. A turret to the right and a turret to the left completely evaporated. This one managing to hang in there on three wounds remaining. But let's not forget you're clearing away the center there. grugachuk has gone, the squad in front of him is gone. The squad that has spent two turns pushing through a gravity field to try and <laughs> kill a gladiator <laughs> has gone as well. The Imperial Fists are doing well in defending their lines. There's no charges coming up because of... Um, Everything got well, obliterated. Yeah, Torgaradon um, stepped out of combat, but he's a wise enough chap to know not to step beyond the range. He's trying to secure this objective as well. So at the end of... Turn two, the Imperial Fist get another three points. I only get one point. It is six points to two. But now the nobles, the nobles will have a chance to step forward into the fire as we go into Orcs. Turn three. One minute, morale on the Grots. They pass on a one. They don't pass. They're not below half strength. So ones, so one has fled so far. Two, three, four, four more run away. Right, so here we are after the movement phase. I need that central objective. Unfortunately, infantry units and death skulls have objective secured. So it's a case of overload it for a couple of turns and dacker what I can dacker. And empty truck on full wounds, partial truck on four wounds to try and keep some deep strikes. Well, you've got the guerrilla tactics Phobos guys mm -hmm. that can pop up and run towards that. They will die. The next turn, but I don't want them being on. Well, last turn I killed two mm -hmm. or one. They might not die in a whole turn, but I don't <laughs> want them anywhere near that objective there. Um, I did advance forward with the boys here as well because it's going to be all about holding this central objective for mm -hmm. a couple of turns, I think. So they advance forward, and now we have my tractor gun one more time, and it would be rude. Not to shoot your chaplain. Because <laughs> he's been so good. Mind you, I could shoot at that Vindicare. Mind shoot you, either. there's no more characters for your Vindicare to shoot at. Oh, shit, that's true. Did, um, you, I mean, did you just say the... I mean, damn and blast. You, saw an, you said an adult word. I, I may have said an adult word. I'm going to shoot him. I wound him. He has a four-up and vulnerable save. He You're does. a chaplain. Chappy the chaplain. He's good. So what we're saying is eight shots with tracked gun so far. I've done no damage whatsoever. Did you kill an intercessor? No, I've been firing at tanks or your characters or things. So now we're <laughs> going to shoot, talk, shall I shoot? See? Yes. No, I'm going to charge him and kill him with punching. That's he's, what I'm going to do. He's very difficult to kill. He's not difficult to kill. Well, apparently he is. Well, he is difficult to kill if he backs up away from a fight. So I'm going to punch him with my punchy sticks. In the meantime, the looters will unload. Is this two squads? Uh, it is one squad. One big squad? Yep. Oh, yeah, they were up there. Mm -hmm. So let's shoot at them. Okay. Um, would you like to transhuman them? I am going to do mm. more dacker again, seeing as I just got command point back and I got five. It's two CP, is it? Yes. Mm. You're down, putting you down to two. You're getting one at the start of your turn. I'm gonna say yes. Would you like me to pause the camera? No, it's okay, yeah. Two, I say yes. CP, transhuman. Number of shots. 14 shots coming at you. I'm gonna CP that as well. Oh no, I can't CP it, sorry, because that's what you could do in eight, but it's re-roll a hit, a wound, or a... Of course. Yeah. So it's only 14 shots, fives to hit. 
Reroll a hit because I'm lucky. Look at that. Nice. That's lucky. That gives me six more shots. Which that's really cocked. Looks like that. Falls to wound because of transhuman. Three wounds at AP minus one, sir. <laughs> two damage each. Can I kill one this turn? Four ups. I killed two. Two. Then some light firepower pitter pattered over the wall into the intercessors and didn't wound any of them. That's the end of my shooting phase. And now my nobles will charge Tor Garadon <laughs> and fail. So I can reroll that because I'm an orc. <laughs> and pass! I finally made a charge! The nobles come charging in, surrounding Tor Garadon. Two of them won't be able to fight, these two on the edges, because standing on top of pillars is a thing. There are two kill scores, two kill saws in this squad. I'm going to start with them first. Kill saws are unwieldy, so I'm hitting on fours, and I can reroll one of these because I'm lucky. And that was a really unlucky dice roll. Nice. I am strength 10. That's a lot of strength. I wound you twice. Save you minus four, two damage. Two, four up and vulnerable saves. Ah, oh, come on, boys. He takes two wounds. Okay, it's taking two. I can survive that. So two wounds so far. Here's all the big choppers on threes and threes. And doing a reroll to wound because I'm lucky. Uh, four at minus one. And he's doing two damage. So here's a thrip save normally, right? Yep. So four ups. Oh, that's and not good. That's six damage in total. That is enough to kill him. Tord Garadon has got five wounds left. Yeah. And I still haven't done the choppy chop chop yet. He's gonna die. Mm. So he has been he has been pushed over. He's been pushed over. He's been pushed over. Has he? Yes, he has been pushed over. Because only in death or something? Yeah. Yeah. So burning all your CP for only in death does duty and Tor Garadon gets to fight before he gets removed as a casualty. Six attacks, he hits on threes. He's gonna go down swinging, boys. And he hits five times, always angry. Oh, yeah, he's he's wound on twos. Angry boy. That's and a that's lot of wounds. Five wounds. Now, minus three. Yeah, three damage. Um, six up and buns, or yeah. no balls get busted. He takes Ooh. out five of them. <laughs> Mush go the nobles, leaving five left. They'll pass morale on a one, two. They don't pass morale. <laughs> Ones and twos, more flee. So two flee in total. And then keeping the order on sixes, they actually don't flee. Okay, so two more flee. Leaving three orcsies left on the center objective. One more time. We've been here before, lads. Dig your heels in, because it's time for the Imperial Fist to respond in turn three. Tor Garadon has fallen, so the Imperial Fists surge forward. The Chaplain advancing all the way up the battle grid. The Lieutenant stepping down from the Bastion as well. They mean to deliver pain and destruction down upon these Orcs. The Suppressors jumping so that they're within range of that objective there. Still in coherency. And the Infiltrators... That went into Gorilla Thingy Bob, the stratagem, the Gorilla Tactic stratagem. Mm. They're still sneaking their way up to this end of the battle grid. And now the Imperial Fists open fire one more time. The opening salvo from the Eradicators destroyed the last three remaining nobles with ease. Now the Suppressors are picking on the Meganobs. Nine shots hitting on threes. Fours, heavy weapon. Fours, and you moved. Only three hits winning on threes. I believe so. Ooh, okay, uh, me too. At minus one. So I make the saves, because I do have a two-up save, which became a three-up save. Mm. Spanking off the Meganob armor for now. After the suppressors, the intercessors fired up at the looters, uh, causing seven wounds. I've activated Grot Shields, and six of the Grots die, and then I need an invulnerable save, which I par uh, fail. So six grots die and one of the looters gets taken out. So that's it for all the infantry, except for the infiltrators at the back, which are out of range or anything. We're on to the vehicles here. The repulsor executioner is firing the heavy laser destroyer at the injured truck and putting all its impressive arsenal into the looters. Here's the laser destroyer. Big boy gun. Hits both times. Wounds on threes. Only wounds once. Six up and fun. No. And D3 plus four damage, which is enough to kill Ooh, the truck, yes. unless I roll a six for Ramshackle. 
No. I don't roll a six for ramshackle. The truck doesn't explode. It just gets cut in half by the heavy laser no. destroyer. Then the Gatling cannon goes into the looters on threes and threes. Causing nine wounds and grots are thrown in the path of the firepower. Seven of the grots get taken out and two of the looters die. They are not lucky. There are two grots left. So the Iron Hell Heavy Stub is coming in and hits three times and wounds on fours and wounds twice. And the last two grots get taken out at the front, which means the eight shot thingy Bob, Icarus, Skyfire. The eight shot thing can hurt them. Twin Icarus Iron Hell Heavy Stubber. That's what it's called. Not a mouthful at all. Adding the Storm Bolters in. 12 shots in total. Because it all hits on threes and all wounds on fours. Fours. Uh, One, two, three. three. Sixes. Three more looters die. Twin Heavy Bolters now. Threes to hit. Sixes explode. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it works. Uh, threes. Uh, two more, one more dies, and finally two frag storm grenade launchers, assault D6, so that's seven shots, threes, uh, four hits there, and force to wound, strength four, toughness four, Just another point. wound, but another looter buys it, and at the end of all of that, there's only six looters standing. An impressive array of firepower from the Repulsor Executioner. Now we're coming back to the last two vehicles. The Gladiator is... Are you doing the Gladiator now? Yeah. Th can thread the needle. The reason why you jumped over all the way down to this truck here. Okay. Uh, it will be minus one to hit because you're filing through. We said at the beginning, mm. I don't know if we got it on camera, but if you're filing through the bushes, it's going to be minus one. Yeah. But um, you got plus one anyway, so it's threes to hit. That's it. And it's they both hit. Target acquired. Target acquired. Threes to wound. Oh no. Maybe you've just blown up some hedgerow. You've blown up some hedgerow. <laughs> <laughs> and the storm bolters were going into the boys over here. These guys. And the storm bolters caused three wounds. Oh. Only one of the orcs gets taken out. So now we're on to the Hammerfall Bunker. We've got heavy bolters this way, and the super crack missile again can thread the needle down and hit the truck. Uh, heavy bolters first? Heavy bolters, sure. Yeah, fours. Uh, one hit and threes to wind. Oh, I, I forget it's like yeah. fours to hit. It and wounds. Oh. And, save. and then two shots with the super crack missiles at the truck. It's going to be okay. fives though. Oh god, come on boys. Let's do this. Or not. And both of the missiles go wide. It's the first time it hasn't managed to kill anything, to be fair. And that Proof. is the end of the Imperial Fist. Ah, there's one more thing. No, there's another thing. Vinny got assassins still oh, there. I forgot about that. Bad boy. <laughs> what is Vinny doing? Vinny is going to see if he can kill one of these big boy knobs. Is he your cousin? Vinny, is he my cousin? Mm, well, maybe if I'm in legal trouble. There was a joke there about my cousin. Ben I know, Nathan and that's too. why I said I extended it. I said if I'm in legal trouble, maybe he's my cousin. Oh right, okay. You You're paying attention. Oh uh, well, I should really. <laughs> uh, two's to hit. Okay, two's to hit. That is a hit. Two's to win. There's a wound. wound. Uh, minus? Uh, minus three, no invulnerable. Um, okay, don't make the save. D3 damage. That's a three. Nice. Yeah, and you snipe one of the mega knobs in the face. Don't take the kill floor, guys. I'm take really that guy away. Him. Bam. Right, that is the end of your shooting phase. Are you yes. doing any charges? For example, uh, suppressors into mega knobs. I'd rather not do that one, no. if I'm honest. <laughs> And at the end of battle round three, you get three more points. I get one more point. It is nine points to three. As we go into Orcs, turn four. One minute. They've got a leadership test, which they fail. So there's five more guys which flee on ones and twos. Uh, yeah. So there's three looters left standing there. Now, before we go on to turn four... Turn four. Yeah. It's nine points to three. I've got some looters and a tractor cannon that hasn't done anything. And these two units here. Now, I can charge onto that objective. But you can mm, easily outnumber me on it. Is there a chance of winning? There could potentially is a chance of drawing. So yes, mm -hmm. we'll continue in Orcs turn four. Right, in the movement phase, 
Um, I've tried to advance these boys back to get in the truck. So if the truck dies, I've still got guys on that objective there. And I've failed the advance roll. And I even command pointed it and failed the advance roll to get there. I've moved the truck around a little bit so the repulsor executioner can't see me, just those guys can see me. The idea is to swarm the central objective and charge all your chaps. Because if I kill all your chaps, then surely I can hold on to this for a couple of turns in turn four and turn five and leave this game nine points each. I might be able to get a draw here. And a draw for the Orcs is a good scrap with all the beakies at the end, <laughs> despite the fact that you've secured the objectives for the first three turns. So now we must go into the shooting phase and I will fire the tractor cannon at the Vindicator one more time. And I hit and I wound on a two and I wound him. Oh, no. He needs to make a four up and vulnerable save. Can he dodge a bullet ah. seven times in a row? Come on, Vinny. No. D6 damage. Oh, God. Oh, he's okay. He he's lives. okay. So the looters, they'll fire up at him. And they have two shots each. But they're hitting on sixes because I try to advance. And that's two hits, look. Daka, daka, daka. Oh, and reroll one because I'm lucky. Okay, so just two hits. I will wound the Vindicador on twos. I wound him both times. AP minus one. So two more four up and vulnerable saves. And it does oh, two damage. Oh, no. He's down so, to one. So finally some firepower ricochets <laughs> off that tower. He ducks and dodges and weaves, but he can't avoid all of the firepower. Then we're going to do some small arms into Marines in cover. Mm. Yep, that failed to hurt them. So that's the end of my shoot phase. So now the Mega Knobs will charge the suppressors. And they make the charge. The Mega Knobs make it there. Now the boys are going to try and join in against the Chaplain and the Intercessors, because he'll just heroically intervene anyway. Because mm. I'm going through all of this terrain. I need a 9. And I can re-roll, because I'm an Orc. I'll keep the 5. I can re-roll any number of dice. So 50-50 chance for Gork or Mork. I make the charge! Nice. The big mob of boys come scrambling over the ridge line and go thumping into the intercessors. This is where I end up after piling in. There's a chunk of them that can't fight. But 14 of them are hitting the intercessors. Two of them are hitting the chaplain. Mm. But this is heavy cover, so you do get plus one to your armor save in close combat. The boss knob is here, though. He's attacking the intercessors with his power claw. He'll hit on fours, and he can re-roll one of these because he's lucky. And he strengths ten. That's so many. He'll wound on twos, and he can re-roll one of these because he's lucky. So AP minus three becomes AP minus two because of the heavy cover. As I try and claw at you over the barricade. So four, five up saves. Oh you, my word. You make three of them. D3 Jeez. damage. I can re-roll that because I'm lucky. So he only manages to smush one out of four. And then all the boys attack. All right, so that could have been more successful. But meanwhile, I've got 52 attacks. Because three attacks each, plus one for the size of the squad, into the intercessors. Here's half of them on threes. And fours. Ten to up saves because of the heavy cover. The boys take out one more, then we get to do it all again. And the second volley did 11 wounds. Two up saves. Another one. Another one bites the dust. So the green wave smashing against the barricade managed to kill only three Imperial Fists. Now we have two Orc boys fighting the Chaplain on threes and fours, doing two wounds to the Chaplain, who has a two up, a three up save. Three up save. And oh, he yes. stands firm, of course he does. You may pay to interrupt with the suppressors now if you want to, because my Meganoms are about to have a party. I'm... Not going to do that. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you can hurt me either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think so. Anyway, there's um, four Mega Knobs there with four uh, power drill kill saws. Kill saws each. <laughs> they hit on fours. And I can re-roll one of them. And a wound on twos. And I can re-roll one of them. And each of this is minus four two damage. So each of these will kill a suppressor. So I've killed <laughs> ten suppressors. <laughs> How many in that squad? There are, in fact, three suppressors in that I've squad. I've still got a power claw. I yeah, I'd roll it, just in case, you know. Okay, I'll do the power claw. One hit. One more wound. D3 damage. 11. I'd have killed 11 suppressors. 
That's a lot of suppressors. It's why I wanted to jump them <laughs> up the table earlier on. Yeah, those are really good. The Mega Knobs pile in on Consolidate. Now the Chaplain gets to fight back with his Hitty Stick. Five attacks hitting on twos and wounding on threes. His Hitty Stick, by that I mean the great big relic that he's swinging around. That's Damage the three. Um, th he managed to wound three times. And I'm making him vulnerable save. He takes out two Orc boys. Now the Intercessors fight. 12 attacks from the normal intercessors, or the usual, the rank and file. Hitting on threes and okay. wounding on fours. And rerolling the one, there's a left hand in there. Oh, uh, yeah. Nope. So five. Uh, one, two. Five wounds. Mm -hmm. Right, six. Six wounds. You kill six boys, and then you've got the power fist on the sergeant. Yes. Four more. About to turn some boys into paste. He hits twice. Because it's unwieldy. Twos. Ooh. Ooh. Wounds twice. Does turn two into paste. <laughs> the intercessors managed to take out eight boys for the three that we took out in return. Then it looks like this, and I forgot to consolidate. I was getting too busy filming. Can I consolidate now? You can consolidate. It means that you get to fight more because I was going to swing round <sighs> with that boy there and tag the Eradicators because I don't want the Eradicators shooting at the Meganops. The idea was to engage all of your front line. Mm, I see what you sneaky boys have done. Yes, that was the plan all along. Sorry, <laughs> I got a bit distracted. Now they get to fight. So you pile in, then the Eradicators get seven attacks. They hit on threes, and they win on four. Six hits. That's a lot of hits. I shouldn't have tagged them. Uh, only two wins, though. Okay. And you kill another two boys. And finally, we get to the end of the fight phase. And if I roll a four, five, six for morale, I'll fail my morale as well. Because I've lost so many in the counter charge. Mm. And I fail my morale as well. <laughs> <laughs> 13 more dice, ones and twos. Oh, uh, that's quite. That many more flee. Oh no. And I was out of range of the keeping order buff from the mega knobs there. Long story short, 28 orc boys <laughs> went charging into an imperial fist line and killed three. And in return, the imperial fist turned around and killed. 25 orcs and that is the end of orcs turn four in the command phase the chaplain shouts out the recitation of focus into the intercessor squad and they are focusing up the marines change from the tactical to the assault doctrine the repulsor jumps around this edge of the battle grid to eye up the tail wing of that truck there and then you're spending your last two CP. You just gained one, so you're down to zero CP on mm -hmm. close range bolt of fire. That's the one. And the Imperial Fist can fire their bolt weapons in close combat as if they were pistols at the unit on the other side of the barricade, hitting on threes. And those sixes explode. And fours to wound. And re rolling those two ones. And that is. Five wounds, five, six up saves. And the squad of boys that came charging in get wiped out. And that clears the gun sights for the eradicators that were still engaged in close combat with the orcs. Now their gun sights are clear, they can fire point blank range at the mega knobs on threes. Oh, hello. Only two hits. The dodge bodies of the orcs getting in the way there. Twos to wound. They both wound. I need sixes. I make a six. Oof. And the other one does d6 plus two damage. And at this range will definitely vaporize one of the mega knobs. So the Vindicare takes aim and fires down at the mega knobs. And <laughs> Of course he does. <laughs> Jesus. And you said the repulsor was firing his big gum of doom down at the truck. Yes. And everything else at the looters. That's the one. And so it's 732 other shots managed to kill the three looters up there quite easily. Two shots into the truck on twos. No minuses to hit this time. They both hit. Threes to wound. They both Two wound. Wounds. Six up and vuns. I can't make them. Two D6. So that is six damage. That is four damage. The six damage stays at six damage. The four damage stays at four damage. Trucks have ten wounds. 
that's a dead truck and it doesn't blow up this one gets cut in half as well with the truck gone that leaves open the firing sights for the other gladiator to fire down in at the Meganobs, doing its big gun of doom on twos big boy gun uh, two hits two hits okay two to wound both wound i need to make sixes i make a six and the other one is d3 plus three damage so minimum oh. four damage Oh, okay. Will wipe out a Meganob. Then the small arms from the Gladiator tank fired in at the Meganobs, causing no damage. And the Hammerfall Banker, well, could basically <laughs> only pick on the Meganobs. And that managed to cause no damage either. And that is the end of the shooting phase for the Imperial Fists. And now the Chaplain braves a charge. Let's do this. Ooh. Ooh. That's a three. Ooh. And that's a one. Uh, and you don't have CP to I can't do anything about that. And you are going through terrain. So a heroic last charge from the chaplain is not on the cards. No. I have a morale test on the Meganobs, which they fail. <laughs> and I'm going to lose two morals on ones and twos. No. Nope. Okay. And then on a six, the one that did run away stays. No. So I'm down to two Meganobs remaining. And at the end of turn four... It was nine points to three. Mm -hmm. I finally get that objective, making yep. it nine points to five. Nice. Ten points to five. Ten points to five. I can't get there in turn five. So the most points I could potentially get, well, I can't even get to this one either. So I can't get backwards. I can't get forwards. And I strongly suspect that the Megnobs will not be there in turn five. So at this point, the orcs must concede and flee away into the night. And this is the way the world ends. Um, looking across the battle grid, I've got this thing and two Meganobs left. Um, uh, well, yeah, I mean, I wasn't expecting that at all. Uh, I thought I put a pretty good list. I thought you did too. The grot shields with the tractor guns, I thought that isn't... A huge amount of DACA to suppress, but enough DACA. Yeah. I mean, the, 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 the death guns from the looters did really hurt the first squad of assault intercessors. I think yeah. six or seven. And I thought 14 of them would be killing a chunk of Primaris a turn. Yeah, absolutely. I am amazed the Marines held up as well as they did. I and mean, they... Imperial Fist in a, in a bunker of some description, I expect. To, to be okay, but not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. <laughs> and the waves and pawn waves, look, I hoped to have tied you up a bit more in turn one and then yeah. swarm through in turn two and swarm through in turn three, but that didn't happen. Tor Garadon standing there and holding the breach. Single-handed. Stepping back and his uh, loyal brothers around him just firing over his shoulder. Difficult, disciplined ranks of fire and cutting down the orcs. And they did it again. Yeah. And they did it again. <laughs> the orcs coming up over here and smashing into them. That heavy cover all coming in clutch there. Mm. And I thought I did a clever thing by tagging the eradicators. But if I hadn't have tagged the eradicators, maybe I wouldn't have lost like nine in the morale phase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wasn't expecting any of that. And like, I was expecting these guys to get taken out early. I wasn't expecting these guys to fail to tag these two yeah and i think it was a super game like two really big game changing moments number one taking out the weird boy yes so that i could yes like limit your ability to move around the, uh, around the map yeah i think if he had lived it would be a very different game i could have done some more jumping up here and the mega knobs mm. got into close combat one time and you saw yeah. what they did yeah the other knobs got into combat another time and you could see what they did essentially it revolved around me punching stuff, but it revolved, you didn't get to do. which I didn't get to do. And it revolved around me throwing enough chaff at you. I say chaff, mm -hmm. boys, yeah. that you have to deal with it because a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And by the time the knobs and mega knobs hit you, you're you're in trouble. Yeah. But think... yeah, targeting that weird boy that instead of going for the war boss and targeting yeah. the weird boy, that was a perfect play. That was well yeah. done. That Thank was you. good. I think as well, the other game changing moment is failing that charge with the uh, with Rugger the Chugger. That's the one. I yeah. mean, that was an absolute game If changer. I'd have killed your intercessors and your captain yeah. and been here, yeah. 
then yeah the other thing as well actually another game changer is yes he snapped the weird board but imagine mm. if those four tractor cannon shots had managed to kill him in oh, the first turn yeah absolutely then completely game changing uh, but meanwhile at the end of the game every single one of your vehicles is completely untouched I yeah. the scratch see there's a stratagem that you've got i've got called i forget what it is it's for mega knobs it's mm. plus one damage Oh, wow. So their kill source at minus four AP Jesus. will just cut straight through the armor and do a flat three damage a time. I was quite mm. convinced that if I got my Mega Knobs into contact with one of those vehicles mm. at strength 10 as well, yeah. I'd have just sawed through them. But at the end of the day, completely untouched. Uh, I mean, the thing is, taking out the Weird Boy, you didn't have the mobility to do it. No. That's the thing. Yeah. You just move too slow yeah. without that jump. Yeah, I need either two jumps or some death copters or maybe yeah. a shock jump drabster to stick around. Mind mm. you, the I set up the table. We didn't know what the scenario was going to be. Yes. And we did. Okay. So, there's so many other ways it could have played out if yeah. the scenario was slightly different, if this Definitely. could have happened here, if I'd have shot him in turn one with a track. Mm. But that's why we play the game, right? That's to true. find out what... Ha well... <laughs> we play the game some people we I play the game to find out what the story is. Yeah. And the story in this case is Tor Garadon stepping forward mm -hmm. and holding the line and blocking the breach and the orcs. This is the high water mark of the orcs. This is as far forward as they got. And when the two mega knobs look back over their shoulder, all they'll <laughs> see behind them is death and carnage. And at this point, even they will run away. <laughs> you heroically defended this um, bastion here. Exactly. It was glorious stuff. It was so good and so cinematic yeah. as well. I love like the imagery of like the intercessors here, then jumping down to the like primary defensive wall nice. after yeah, Tor yeah, Garadon yeah. has sacrificed himself in the breach. I Hold love the line. Hold the brothers. The line. It was glorious stuff. Um, so you're on Instagram? I am on Instagram. Quips uh, the Nerd. At Quips the Nerd. You can when I there. forget to put the link in the video description, <laughs> please write a comment or remind me and then I'll pin the comment. Okay. In fact, so you could, here's a job for you. Mm -hmm. Write all the things in your comment about uh, the stuff that people need to go and see. Uh, like the Conclave podcast, yes. Fireside Chat podcast, all of them. Write them in a comment and if I pin that, then that'll be a top of the comment section. Awesome. We'll do and it. then you could, you know... Yeah, that's it, because yeah. I will forget. I'll okay. put some... <laughs> well, see, the thing is, I come to pin it and then other things and stuff, and, and then man. I forget the links, and I'm just really, really bad. You've seen how bad I am. You have, you're a busy man with a lot on your mind. I completely understand these things. Yeah, man, it's... Yeah, thank, <laughs> thank you. I, thanks. Okay. Battle Matt is from urbanmats.com. All these beautiful tank traps here are from March of War. Uh, they also do other resin stuff and scenery. The dice, the objective counters, the dice. Uh, check out the DZ TV merchandise page. And if you would like to support us, um, if you'd like to help us out, help us make more lovely battle reports, then consider subscribing to DeploymentZone.tv. In fact, I would highly encourage you to do so because me and you were talking about all the events. Oh, my God, All yeah. the community things that are coming up this summer. So much Once cool the unlocking begins to unlock. Yeah. And there there's some online events as well as the offline events as well. So mm -hmm. you could be in, you could be in New Zealand, in America, Pluto, or the Segmentum Solar. And you could still join in to the DeploymentZone.tv community events and things. Lots of stuff is coming in things. There is also, did you know that there's two campaigns, not one, but two campaigns running in the Deployment Zone right now. There's the Sunstrike campaign yeah. and Play on Tabletop. Of course. Play on Tabletop's oh, Crusade. That is so good, guys. Yeah. Honestly, could not recommend it more. It's super interesting just watching. I know. Yeah, it's you and JT <laughs> just being the puppet masters. Like, ooh. You got to try and... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, throw a spanner in the works every now and then. <laughs> anyway, that was glorious. I really enjoyed that. Cinematic as fluff, as hell. Fluff? Mm -hmm. It works. That works now. Um, happy Wargaming!